and welcome back to my channel. So as you can tell by the thumbnail and the title, today we are going to be doing a quick and sweet little tutorial on how I fill in my eyebrow with the little slits in it. Now I know recently this has been a trend that has been going around the internet. I know a lot of people don't like it, a lot of people think it's trashy, a lot of people think that it's mocking people that have scars in their eyebrow. Regardless of what you think of it, I am someone who personally likes this trend and I have always wanted to try it. I did have an eyebrow slit before but I just had one and I recently decided to give myself another one. So now I have a total of two eyebrow slits and I'm going to show you how I personally fill in my eyebrows with these little eyebrow slits. So if that is something that you guys are interested in watching, if you recently shaved little slits in your eyebrow and you want to know how the heck to fill your brows in, making them nice and and sharp and snatched, then you've come to the right video. I do talk about in the video about how I shave them and I also talk about microblading. So if that is something that you are curious about, please make sure you watch the entire video because I do share all of that information in the video. So let's get started. Moved you guys in pretty close. My skin is like peeling on my face right here so just try to disregard that I'm still in the middle of doing my makeup at the moment but anyway so the first thing that we're gonna do is we are just going to brush our eyebrows uh, through with a spoolie just to make sure all of the hairs are kind of laid down there isn't anything weird sticking up and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to do this brow just really quick. I'm just going to run through it because uh, I don't have any slits in this eyebrow. So I can just fill this one in like I normally would. All right, so this brow is not done. We will come back to it before the video ends. But now I'm going to move over to this eyebrow. Now, I know there's many different ways that people do this, but this is just the way that I found that I know how to do it and the way that I'm comfortable doing it. Another thing is my eyebrows are very thin, very sparse, very short, so I kind of have to do a lot of drawing when it comes to this whole thing that I'm doing. A lot of people are going to ask like, didn't you have your eyebrows microbladed at one point? Answer to your question is yes, yes I did. Um, but that was over two and a half, three years ago now. And microblading is not permanent. So if you don't go and get regular touch-ups, basically it all eventually fades away. And as you can probably tell by my eyebrows, all of that has completely faded away. So I don't have my eyebrows microbladed anymore. So really I just kind of, you know, take a pencil and treat my fucking eyebrows like a coloring book. Essentially what I do is I just start at the front here. And as you can see, we have little tiny slits where there isn't any hair. So you obviously don't want to draw there, but you want to kind of keep the same like fluid shape all throughout so you can kind of, not pressing very hard, just going very lightly, just kind of filling in those spots, but leaving the shaped parts open. Okay, so kind of something like that. Now this isn't the final, you know, look obviously because the next thing that we are gonna go in with is a pomade. And this one I'm going to be using is by CoverGirl. This is just the darkest little like eyebrow pomade that they have. And as you can see, I use quite a bit of this. I absolutely love this stuff. It's a lot cheaper than some of the higher end ones and it, it works really well. So I'm gonna take the little brush that it comes with because that's just, what I'm used to, you can totally use a different brush of your choice if, you know, suits you better. So before I move on to this eyebrow, I'm just gonna quickly go in and finish this one. Just kind of fill it in, make everything a little bit sharper and darker and blended so everything looks nice and cohesive. All 
right, so we have this brow done. Obviously, you know, it's not perfect. I'm not like an Instagram brows kind of girl, but I mean, it looks a lot more put together. So for this brow, you have to be super, super careful. So what I do is I take the brush and I go and wipe off any excess product, making sure that brush is nice and thin and nice and sharp. And then I go back in and get a little more pomade and not too, too much. I always make sure I wipe the excess off on the side. And you're basically gonna do the same thing with the pencil, but the only difference here is when you're filling it in and when you get to the end here, you kind of take the brush, the opposite side, and you kind of pull back with it. gonna lie this does take a very steady hand and this does take a lot of time so just just a heads up okay so something like that and then again I'm gonna go in with my spoolie and very carefully just kind of brush through those parts making sure you're not dragging it all the way through because you don't want to mess up those little bald spots right there. And then there is one more step to this and this step really makes it look super sharp. But basically what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna take a very, very tiny, tiny little brush like this and some concealer. Now, a lot of people do this, you know, before they do their base, but I already have my base on. And you can use any concealer that you want. It really doesn't matter. I'm just gonna use this one by CoverGirl. I'm almost done with it, so I just figured I would use it up. And you're gonna take a little bit of that concealer on the brush. And even when you do that on the back of your hand, just kind of like dab off some of the excess because you definitely don't need that much. And then what I like to do is, again, take a very steady hand and I like to drag the concealer through those slits ever so slightly. And this is just going to like really sharpen those up. And then I take a Q-tip and then I just lightly dab in between the slits to kind of blend out that concealer a little bit. Like that, and then that is how you get the cute little eyebrow slits. A lot Sorry, I have my septum ring flipped up in my nose and it was like starting to tickle. Basically, the only things you need is you need an eyebrow pencil, you need some pomade, a spoolie, a little tiny, tiny little brush, and some concealer, and you can fill in your brows. Now, I know a lot of people are gonna ask, well, Brie, how do you even get the slits in your eyebrow? I'm gonna tell you right now. So what I did is I took a, I think I took a pen, honestly, and I chose which brow, first of all, choose which brow that you wanna do this to, or you can do them on both, it really doesn't matter, and just kind of take a pen and just kind of like outline with like little parallel lines where you want the slits. And then once you do that, I honestly just took some scotch tape, very lightly put it over the parts that I didn't want to shave. Once I had everything kind of lined up and taped down and I was ready to shave, you can either shave them or pluck them. It really kind of all depends on what you prefer and how much brow hair you have. But I decided to shave and just use one of these little like at home razors. You can get like a huge pack of these on Amazon and basically you just kind of like you know, shave down where you have your lines. And then, yeah, that's basically it. Then you just very carefully remove the tape and then you have little slits in your eyebrow. And then also if you have like a day where you're kind of in a rush and you don't really have time to go through this process of like filling them in all the time, you can just fill in your brow like you normally would and you really don't notice that much of a difference. It isn't like awkward having like these bald spots in there. Sometimes like if I'm in a rush for work or whatever, I just quickly fill in my eyebrow like I normally would. But if I have more time, I take the time to kind of like, you know, etch out these little uh, slits. And when I don't want them anymore, my eyebrows do grow relatively quickly. So I will just let it completely grow back. And then if I want to keep them for a while, the only maintenance that I do is I will just pluck where the little bald spots are. This is how I get my little uh, 
eyebrow slits. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hopefully it was helpful. I feel like I'm always really bad at explaining stuff, so hopefully it was easy to follow along. Hopefully the footage and the lighting was okay. I haven't done like a tutorial like that in such a long time. So make sure to go down and give this video a huge thumbs up. Also, if you are new to my channel and this is the first video of mine that you are seeing, make sure you go down and subscribe. I do upload every three to four days on this channel. I have a bunch of different content on here. I have everything from beauty, vlogs, tattoos, piercings, eyebrow tutorials, clean with me videos, anything you can think of, I probably have it on my channel. So make sure you go down and subscribe. As for the rest of you, I love you guys so, so, so much. Thank you so much for watching. But until then, I will see you very soon in my next video. I love you guys and happy slitting. <laughs> Bye.